I love Sheltered Woods. Like, overall, as one of the bigger maps, I don't mind it. It can be a pain when the survivors are really, like, top-notch, but it's... It's decent. Oh, no. Hi, how you doing? I lost the scratch marks. They actually ran out that way. Sweet. Lethal pursuer value. All the time. Fun. Thank you so much for the follow. Shutter Woods might be your favorite map. It's a fun map for me. It's definitely a little bit larger of a map than what most people like. But at the same time, for a larger map, it has good spacing. Typically has good gen layout. So it doesn't feel as bad to play on as something like Cold Wind. Nice. She played that really well. I might not want to chase her for long. She actually just held W there, didn't she? Dude, she did. Look at that. Oh, that's someone else's scratch marks. Damn. I got one person here that's running over this way. I have a gen that's about ready to pop over there. I didn't even see that person on barbecue. Hey, where you at? There you are. Damn. That's okay. Uh, as soon as I get another charge here, I can actually go for a long... Yeah, here we go. This is a long sweep. But we'll catch up. Come on. Don't know the timing. Don't know the timing. Damn. Unfortunate, man. There we go. Well, red. She doubled back that way. Uh, no survivor here, but she does have a pal. I have two survivors probably right there. I have one survivor there. That's what you get for pallet camping. You know, I'm just saying, man. Survivors complain about bubble camping, but y'all, y'all pallet camp a lot. <laughs> yeah, I figured I'd lose the second gen. We had a really long first chase. Three survivors over there. Ah, that gen isn't going. I thought I saw someone there, but I was wrong. One survivor going out more towards the open. One survivor going around this way who kind of went pseudo stealth. I'm going to act like I don't see them. Uh, it doesn't matter. There you know. This is a really un unfun place for Bubba. We just go for an M1 here. Thank you. The first survivor we chase is one I'd have to be worried about. She actually ran the loop really well and left it correctly. I'm just going to leave that chase. They're not going towards any gens, so I'm not going to be patrolling while chasing there. Which is something I would like to be doing. I might get a two for one here though. Depending on how they move. There we go. Oh. Chili almost got me to tantrum into that. That would have been not good. Would have not been a fun time. <laughs> you know, people still insidious camp. Yeah, they do. The best way to play against that though. Just do the gens and leave. These guys are doing gens. Look, I might not even get pop over there in time because they went hopped on that gen immediately. One server was probably already there during that whole thing too. Crazy. Okay. Damn. It was worth a try. I wanted to see how much distance I could get there. I'll come back over here and pop this real quick. Let me close. You actually pressure it out. You tried. But it's too risky to go for those. I get you. Why? Why pallet? Why do it? That's all I'm saying. There's just a difference. I'm just three steps ahead of you on that one. You guys remember that movie Sinister? It was a good movie. I do remember that movie. Just three steps ahead. Sorry. All right. Once we're over there. Okay, got you. Uh, once we're over, I might come over here. They're not going to work on the gen in time because I think I regressed good. We can definitely cut off and come over this way. I like this side of the map because I can kind of push them into dead zones. They need to get that gen. That gen's a bad gen for them. 
If they can get that gen done, they'll be pretty happy. Hey, what's going on? Do you have any value here? Someone's gotta go one way. Thank you. I'll go ahead and pop that gen now. Okay. I'll hook her over here instead then. Works for me, broski. I swear if you're able to block this, I'm going to be upset. Damn it. Oh, I hate. I hate you two. So much. Thank you. That was a good play. That was actually a really good play on her part. I like double replenish chargers on Bubba. It feels good, yeah. I like Chili. Chili just allows you to kind of catch up to survivors and allows you a lot more time with your chainsaw, which is really good. Two gens left. We have a survivors over there. I gotta pop this gen real quick. That was really well played. What a hero saving your friend. Yeah, she did it well. I'm gonna give him shit, but it was a good play. I could tell it was coming too, because I could hear it running behind me. I was just like, God damn it, don't happen, don't happen, don't happen. Uh I don't really want to chase this. Dead hard? No, you will have went towards the loop. You know what? I still get you in the end, though, don't I? I'm pretty happy about that. Oh, let's go back this way real quick. Did the stream quit for anyone else? Uh, Not for me. It looks like my stuff is all good here. Grimber, she'll drop pallet. Yeah. You can vacuum those so much easier now than you could before. Uh, I'm going to pop this. And then we're going to head over this way because I think they might hop on this gen. I really don't want them to get it. Okay. One survivor here. Sprint burst gamer. That way she can get to a loop. That was risky. Now what? Yeah. I figured she would think that that pallet was still up. But nah, the other two who didn't loop as well dropped that pallet really early. That kind of goes to, like, again, you can ignore that one good player. Like, she's looped really good uh, every time we had to go against her. But the one time, there's no pallet there, man. Bubba's fucking scary. You're not exactly getting away from a really solid, like, Bubba. I'll pop this real quick. I know they're over there. You love Iron Maiden on Bubba? Oh, yeah. That's fun. Have you tried Bamboozle on Bubba? Oh, yeah. I've played a lot of Bubba, actually. So, I've tried pretty much everything. I like Bubba. He's a fun killer. I enjoy the uh, insta-down aspect of killers. I think it's something that you get rewarded for, and I do enjoy it. It's I, I really enjoy Billy, though, too. But Billy's a lot more skillful in that sense. I can kind of turn my brain off a little bit with Bubba, in a way, until we go against, like really solid survivors who are hiding and maneuvering. Damn. So close. I took those a little too wide, but I was kind of playing it safe so I wouldn't uh, go into a nice little rampage. Here we go. Yeah, you're dead. <laughs> Tantrum's a word. Couldn't think of it. Don't know why. Bubba's sick of shit. I use his chainsaws from mobility as well. Exactly. He actually gets a lot of mobility out of his chainsaw. People don't ever use it that way. But like something like this, you can always go here. You can see them over there and you can chainsaw over there. Because why not? You do move faster. It's like slow down just like that. Which killer got BBQ? Bubba. Bubba is the killer with barbecue and chili. Uh, that was a really quick gen, though. Hi, guys. Sprint burst. Yeah. Uh, she drops pout immediately, though. Thank you. I know where Hatch is, so that's really good. I need at least two charges. Here we go. Thank you. Really solid group, though. They played really well. 
in the sense of like doing gens. One was really oh Bubba was bad. Yeah, oh Bubba felt bad. I like the new changes on Bubba. It makes a lot of sense. Any value? I don't see anyone. We broke all the pallets over here. That gen's not going. All right, so we're gonna be playing hatch then. Uh, I don't really want to chase her, but they're both kind of at the shack area, and I'm not about that life. I need to see which one leaves shack. Okay, Meghead left shack, so we go for Meghead. There's no vault here. I just gotta be careful not to fall for a line of sight juke. So holding W is the best call. And I expect the survivor will do a holding, you know, we'll do that. She's played really well so far. But there's not much now. There we go. Really solid survivor. But because I know I understand that they are good and I can respect that they're they played well so far this game, I can also predict what they're gonna do next. And then that's where it gets into another level of uh if the survivor can catch on to what I'm doing and predict around that. So she hopped in a locker because she was healed up. I'm thinking inner strength. They didn't see a health kit, so she must have stayed in the locker. I'm guessing she did it at Shack. So she would have to leave Shack and come out this way. Or she'll stay in Shack because it might be solo queue scenario. Nope. Oh, actually went for the save. It just got past me. Cool. Was on top of the world when changes rolled out and Billy was just crying under a tree. That's because Bubba is a little simpler than Billy. Billy gets a lot of value out of being able to like patrol the map, and that's really good. Bubba just has really, really quick chase time. Yeah, here you are. You're, she's in a worse area. We definitely go here. Okay. There we go. Solid, and now we get to finish it up by hopefully finding this last survivor. Oh, here you are. We might have to play at Shack. I've been trying to avoid Shack this whole time, but I gotta play it. I'm assuming this last survivor does have Unbreakable, but it makes sense. That's really hard to do, by the way. I can't express how hard that is actually to do. <laughs> it's extremely difficult. There we go. That is a very, very difficult uh, little play to do. But you like how you like my sprint burst? Exactly. You gotta make sure not to hit your chainsaw as well. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. They played really well, but we had them there. Oh, yeah. All right. Shelter Woods, nice. Oh, hey. Thank you for explaining that, Killer Snipes. One, two, yeah. Like, imagine this scenario. They would work on those gens, even though I probably catch this person out. They're not moving. Oh, now they're looking around. Hold up. They're looking around. Oh, they saw me. Did I not get that hit? Got that one. Manny, thank you so much for the follow. All right, let's reload and get number two. She's just holding W. I got to pay attention here. There we go. I don't know why the shot always looks like it goes in their foot, but that's all right. Cool. Quick down. You'd love to see it. You kind of—I thought she was AFK for a moment, but it looks like she just took a moment to like, like tab back into the game or something. But she got punished. What about Jackal from Thirteen Ghosts? I would totally take that. I love the Jackal from Thirteen Ghosts. Such a creepy motherfucker. Like he really is. I'm all about having like creepy killers in you know Dead by Daylight. Scratch marks leading this way? No, scratch marks going this way. Interesting. They kind of just stop. Are they waiting out? Corrupt intervention? They were running and they stopped. Fine chill could be a thing too. Hi, guys. Not the person I wanted, but hey, it works. I don't know if I can get this, but we'll try. Oh, no, I definitely can't. Hi. Oh, thank you. I will gladly chase after you. You have a uh, save less for less stacks I can get. I'm all about that. Hi. Hashtag calculated. <laughs> Do we know if the next uh, chapter will be an original character or license? I have no idea. 
But it's always fun to speculate, isn't it? Dark Deception and DVD, the game scares me. Those damn monkeys, fair. But uh, no, thank you. I hear someone injured. Oh, I think it was just her coughing up on blood. That was insane. Yeah, you can shoot through a lot of small areas here. Hey, buddy. What's your ping at? Everyone here has really good ping. I'm really happy about it. You don't understand. Like, if you have bad ping, that slinger actually becomes a lot. You have to change the way you play against that survivor if they have bad ping. It's not a fun time. Uh, they move that way, most likely. This isn't really the best pop value, but because I'm here, I'm just going to use it. I love a new game mode over a new chapter. Or, or you can just have a new game mode within the chapter. Instead of getting a killer, we get a new game mode. I would take that all the way. Give me a 2v8. Make it all fun, then. Obviously, you're not going to balance around 2v8, but, I mean, it would be fun to have. These guys still have uh, no gens done, so I'm kind of... I don't care about that. I'd rather go check the gens. They're here for a split second. They could have spine chill and moving. I already know that they started hiding when I got over there, so I definitely am suspecting some spine chill gamerinos. But I can't sit here and, like, look for them 24-7 either. I need to keep moving. Like, right here. Oh, shit. I never reloaded. I'm an idiot. She's actually looking behind her now. I see. Miles a little ahead, so I have to aim a little forward. There we go. Pineapple, thank you so much for the follow. What we got? Oh, that gen over there. Uh, I didn't have any progress, so two or three survivors are over there. Thank you. Quick scopes all day, baby. That's really all you do with uh, Deathslinger. You don't really aim with Deathslinger. I don't think they really have enough incentive to aim with Deathslinger when quick scoping is so much more effective. The only reason you aim currently is to make survivors like waver. That didn't have. That had some progress to it. So there was one survivor who was probably hiding with spine chill. They move away. Not really. How about over this side? Yeah, there you are. Hi. Spine chill gamer. Relying too much on spine chill. Are you okay? That was uh was very interesting. Nice shot, thank you. I think the Warner Brothers will work with the DB team. I mean I think I don't think anyone will really turn down the DBD team. Numbers speak for themselves, and Debbie Daylight does have a good player base. And is a growing game, so. I don't think any company would really just not work with them. Ooh. Those shots are a little harder to do. It's kind of like a moving shot and like a different angle. It always makes it feel like you hit because the chain actually passes the survivor. But in reality, you probably never hit it. Cool. Here we go. Did you... Really? Just do that? Very brave. Okay. Nice. That was a good little dodge. I don't really want to go for the Meg. I haven't downed her at all this game. He's already got distance, though. There's no real point in chasing him. I need to go over here. I guess I will go for the Meg if she's right here. Yeah, I was a little to the left. I fired just a hair too soon because I thought she'd move a little bit. But she's going to pre-drop and run. Pre-dropping is not a bad thing to do against Slinger. I'll move her over that way since I've already broken the pallet. Alright. And I need to get this down pretty quick here. She's holding W. Moving over to the left. Good. Just runs right back into me. Dead hard? No dead hard. Cool. Nice. Love to see it. Nurse can down extremely quickly, yes. Any killer that can down extremely quickly typically does pretty good. I probably should break that pallet. That's okay, though. I do think Behavior has to know there's a limit of how many new perks they can add before it's just a giant wall for new players. I agree. They need a new system. 
it's definitely not the best if someone comes for newer players to get into the game. Being able to remove some of that uh, that massive wall would be very helpful. He's a stealth gamer, guys. Sprint burst, stealth gamer. Oh, damn. It threw me off a little bit. I won't lie. Toasty, thank you so much for the sub at tier one. Two bad shots. That's on me. I was slightly off on both of them. Oh, you didn't actually keep pulling up you? Okay. Thank you. Very hard to dodge that slinger sometimes. A way to sort the perks at least. That'd be nice too. Like, it, it, just a filter would be nice. A search filter? Yeah. Or a search bar? Fortunate. She's out of game. They might come take a hit for her. Which would be unfortunate for me. But I'll take it. Because Claudette got a lot of distance because I wasn't hitting my shots. So we don't need to keep chasing if we're not hitting shots. That's twice. It's, she's not looking behind her. She's just moving in a like a direction I'm not expecting. All right, let's move back over this way. The gens are over here. I really shouldn't leave the gens too much. And they healed up pretty quickly. So I'm guessing two survivors on a gen around here somewhere. Maybe even here? No. But I have a nasty three gen. Let's break this. You love prep and stealth killers? I do enjoy prep killers, but unfortunately right now, the prep killer would have to have some way of slowing the game down, too. The prep killers are not in the best of spots. Oh, you guys are over here. Okay. Hi, buddy. Cool. Went to my left. Take my little punishment real quick. Claudette is still here, but that's all right. Gotcha, buddy. You gotta be careful with that. Yeah, I figured I'd lose that gen. That's fine. We still have the three gen. And pretty much everybody's been two hooked, so I'm pretty happy. This is about as fair as it gets for uh, survivors. Scratch marks leading over that way, but then they kind of stop and go back that way. Very odd scratch marks here. Oh, there they are. They continue. They're very faint. Did she hop in the locker, you think? <laughs> yeah, you did. You are a stealth gamer through and through. I feel like if survivors spawn together, it would help. It should be like their own initiative to split up. I agree. I would not have a problem with that being an overall change to survivor. Lemon bagels, thank you so much for the follow. Nice. Really nice three gen. We have to hook Meg one more time and then every survivor would be essentially four, three hooked by the end of the game. Claudette is back there trying to be a stealth gamer. I'm looking here to get an idea of where Claudette's going. Thank you. Double thank you. Okay. That was silly. She really didn't do anything I was expecting. But, like, you're on the, the bad side, so you have to move across. Otherwise, I can just M1. <laughs> Wait, actually, is this Claudette's last hook, or is this her second hook? Last hook, cool. It's scary as hell, even for an adult. That'd be kind of interesting. I'm always down for mythology from uh, other cultures, too. There we go. You see what I'm saying? Like, she just moves weird. It, it's not like a, an intentional movement. It's like she's just gradually moving. I'm just not predicting it. <laughs> now she's actually moving weird. Here we go. Like, that was like an intentional move weird, I feel like. All right, this is her second hook, so. Nice. Where does she think he's going? It's not her last hook. And I see him. Gotcha. Yeah, it's scary, man. Now what do you do? Okay. Unfortunate. Bots walk straight. 
True, but she didn't even walk straight. She walked straight and then like just like at the very end when I was getting ready to aim, she's just like, eh, I'm gonna go veer off this way. Not turn this way, I'm gonna veer off, which just makes it weird feeling. <laughs> a Wendigo killer? That would be bad. That's what everyone thought uh twins were. Because it really looked like it was gonna be a Wendigo killer. What's the spider oni lady? Ooh, I don't know what that is, but it sounds cool. Alright, merciless, hell yeah. And GG's. Oh, they brought a brand new part. Crazy. Got kind of a rainbow again, but we had some really nice shots there. Through and through.